Welcome back to the channel everyone. Um, today's video we're going to be fitting a fire extinguisher into an MGTF. So obviously if you want to fit a fire extinguisher to a car you're going to need to pick up a fire extinguisher. Uh, I got mine from Aldi. Uh, I was doing my weekly shop and you know how it is. You walk down that centre aisle in Aldi and they've always got random stuff there. And on this day there was a fire extinguisher. Um, I've been thinking about picking up a fire extinguisher to put in the car for a while, but I just not got around to buying one. Um, when I saw the one in Aldi, I thought this is ideal, we'll pick this one up um, and then we'll, we'll get it fitted. The next thing I was thinking was, well, now I've got the fire extinguishers, how am I actually going to fit it? Um, now, I'd seen some photos online of people who'd fitted them in the passenger footwell. Um, there was a couple of people who'd attached them just to the inside of the centre console in the passenger footwell um, and there's also an option of putting it just underneath in front of the passenger seat and I quite like that option so I'd looked online and found a company that sell brackets which you can attach to the bolt holes that go the, the two front bolt holes for, the, for your passenger seat um, the company is called Pure Track so if you want to have a look, I'll just hold it the right way around, there we go. Um, if you want to have a look online um, at their website, they've got lots of different size brackets for different cars um, and a lot of other things for track day equipment as well. And they didn't have the exact size, or it, it was advertised as being the, the, the right size for the MG TF, but I measured up the holes and I found that the one advertised on their website for a Ford Fiesta ST is the same size. So I ordered uh, a bracket for a Ford Fiesta um, ST um, and this is the one that arrived. I have offered it up to the holes in the car and they look like they will line up so um, fingers crossed when we actually come to fit it, um, it will just go straight in. Um, so, let's get started. To fit the bracket, you're going to need to take the front bolts out of the passenger seat of your car. Now to do that, you'll need a Torx bit, which is one of these, a T50, I think is the size that should fit um, the bolts that hold the pa passenger seat down at the front. Um, you can use a um, a wrench to get that off but I'm probably going to cheat and use an impact wrench just because it'll be a lot quicker. Um, also you'll need some some uh, bolts to attach the actual fire extinguisher to the bracket. I'm also going to use some washers as well just to make sure that it's nice and secure onto the bracket and it's not going to fall off when it's in the car. So I would recommend fitting the bracket that attaches to the fire extinguisher to the mountain bracket that attaches to the seat before this all goes in the car just because if you're trying to get to the bolts underneath whilst it's in situ in the car it might just be a little bit fiddly so I think the easiest thing to do is to put this all together now um, and then we'll get it all fitted to the car. Right, let's get these bolts out.
now the bracket's in place, let's put the fire extinguisher in the bracket, push it in, there we go, all fitted. Move the seat forward a little bit. There we go, so once that's fitted, somebody should still be able to get in. Just like that. And there's still plenty of space, so you're not compromised on um, foot space at all. Because uh, the other place that people can put them is under here, but that does get more in the way of your legs, so this works quite nicely um, and doesn't affect the person who's sat in the passenger seat. Uh, too badly at all really. Thanks for joining for today's video. If you like what we covered, please hit that like button up there. Um, I've also got other videos planned over the next few weeks, so if you want to watch those, hit that subscribe button down below. Until then, we'll see you soon.